when looking at a phrase like a 20% off discount, there's a couple important parts of this. Our percentage is important, and having the word off is important. If we put this into the context of a store, it would be like buying an item, let's say for $15, and you are getting 20% off. So we are subtracting 20% of the price to get a new price for the item. If you had a $5 off coupon, that would be a simple problem because you could simply take $5 off the price to get the new price of the item. But the difference is, with this 20% off, we need to find the 20% of the item to know what to subtract. So as the price of the item were to change, the discount would change in the same manner. Here you can see that we have the price minus the discount to find our new price. So if we were shopping for this Eagles t-shirt, you can see that the price is $27. So I can take my price of $27 and here I can see that I have a 20% discount. So I need to find 20% of my price. To solve this problem, 20% of 27, we can follow a few simple steps. If we can find what 1% equals, finding any other percentage is quite simple. You would just take that number and multiply that number by any other percent. So if I wanted 7%, I could multiply by 7. If I wanted 20%, I could just multiply by 20. Taking that 1% and converting it to another is quite simple. So we need to find the 1%. And we can do this very similar to how we solved fractions. Remember that any percentage can be converted to a des uh, fraction very simply. The maximum percentage is what? A hundred percent. So this is 20 out of 100. And now I can simply solve this problem the same way as if I were finding 20 hundredths of 27. I'm going to divide by the denominator because 27 represents the whole price. And using a calculator or my powers of 10, I know that's 0.27. So my 0.27 is my 1%. And now all I need to do is multiply my 1% by the percentage I'm looking for, which in this case is 20. Or if we look at our fraction, the next step would be to multiply by the numerator. 0.27 times 20 using our calculator we get five dollars and forty cents. To solve this problem 20 percent of 27 we can follow a few and forty cents. Simple subtraction we get twenty one dollars and sixty cents as the new price. So to solve this problem, we set up our formula, $27 minus the discount, and then we take the time to calculate 20% off separately and bring it back into our formula to find the new price. Calculating sales tax in Pennsylvania is very similar. Sales tax is 6 percent of the price.
if we take our last price of $21 and 60 cents I need to find 6% of $21.60. So I can solve this in a very similar way. Again, I want to find 1%. And the way we do that is change 6% to a fraction. It's a number always out of 100. And I'm just going to follow my simple two steps. I'm going to divide this by 100 using my powers of 10 or my calculator so that's my 1% and now I can multiply that by any number to find any new percent and in this case we're looking for 6% I'm multiplying by the numerator of 6 to find 1 and 296 thousandths now in this case, we need to remember that our money system stops at the hundredths. That's where our pennies are. So this would need to be rounded. Looking at what we have, the 6 is telling the 9 what to do, and we are rounding up. And to round up that 9, I actually then need to round up the next place value to get $1.30 of tax. Taking that tax, we need to now put it back into our original problem. Now think about, what is it going to do to the price of this item? Is tax a discount we get, or is tax going to increase the price of what you'll actually pay? It is going to increase the price because it's the fee that the government takes. So you're paying $21.60 to the store and a dollar and thirty cents to the government and that is how you calculate tax